So on today's show, it is all about classic. It is all about classic meets viral. Of course, I am talking about the fried onion burger and the TikTok viral smash burger taco. So look, you join them two together and I am thinking epic burger. Let's turn our oh, cameras yeah. down here to the board and get started. This here will definitely please the uh, griddle burger lover for sure. We are gonna start out with a couple onions and I'm figuring probably about an onion per burger. And I just did receive this little slicer here, some Vivor, and I can tell you what, it definitely got the job done. You will see more of this slicer in the, uh, in the future and I do have information down below. Now, if you didn't have a slicer, you can hand slice these, no big deal. You want to try to keep them in that eighth of an inch or under range. So I will take that slicer and move it on to the side. I will get these onions in a bowl to rest and it is off to the next step. Alrighty, so look, that slicer definitely helped me out there. Definitely did what I needed it to do. Now look, let's get on over to the griddle. Let's get that fired up and we will take this to the next step. As I fire up the, uh, up the griddle, I'll show you times and temperatures as this uh, show moves along. But what I want to do right now is let's turn our attention over to the, uh, to the burger meat and I am going with an 80-20 chuck and an 80-20 ground beef. I will marry the two and I am looking at about five ounces of a patty balls, beef patty balls each. <laughs> So look, we are pretty good to go. Let's get on over to the griddle and let's get griddling. With this griddle, you definitely want to remember to work with zones. When I initially fired it up, I put all burners on, all zones on, that is eight zones. It hit that 500 and basically what I did is I shut everything down except the two burners in the front here. So right now, basically what we have is we have two zones lit, two burners on. So basically there's our two flames underneath and we are perfectly at that 470. We will ride that down. You don't want to go too hot because you don't want to burn the onions. You know the deal here, oil down, onions on the oil. Patty balls on the onions. And I am in no rush at this point because I got to make sure those onions are cooked. And we're talking probably about maybe, maybe about 45 seconds to a minute of on the grill. We will get some SPG down. And as you can see, we have lowered the temperature to about 420. Anytime you introduce food to a griddle surface, it is definitely going to bring the temperature down. That is okay. We will ride that temperature up into that 450 range, which will be perfect, again, because you do not want to burn the onions. As you can see, butter down. Hey, why not? The tortilla on the butter, you know the deal. And if you look at those onions, you could see some browning. So they are starting a good cooking process, which is definitely what you want. Now on the smash, you definitely want to try to hold it for that 10 seconds or so. And guys, keep in mind, you are not going to get that heavy, uh, that heavy sear as you would uh, a basic smash burger because your, your, your patty is on the onion, so it is not necessarily going to make contact with the griddle. That said, I still do like to hold that 10 seconds on the, uh, on the smash. I mean that there is a little sound, a little live action sound from the shack. So after the smash, I'm going to leave them there for about two minutes. Again, we're not overly hot on the griddle surface. We are still hovering in that 420, 440 range. 
about another two minutes left them on and then I will do the uh, do the flip and I know that ain't the prettiest looking uh, looking uh, smash burger taco but uh, hey we are dealing with onions and I can tell you man these suckers are packed with flavor So look, once I flip these bad boys over, I am going to let, let them sit on the griddle probably for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Then I'll introduce cheese to them. Remember, you want that you want that tortilla, you want that bread, you want it nice and toasted. You definitely don't want it soggy per se. So you don't want to flip it, cheese it, and get them off. You want to let them sit there for, like I said, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever. Then get your cheese on. I am going to shut the hood to melt that cheese and I am also going to turn all my burners off. After about a minute of uh, a closed hood, we are melted pretty good. I will get these off. I will get them on the board. Now look, keep an, uh, keep an eye out on those, uh, on those tortillas as they are nice and brown. That is exactly what you want, man. Oh yeah, and that is looking good. Guys, as we uh, get these off, as we get these on the board, as we take this in live for that taste test and closing thoughts, I can tell you, man, these things were to die for, man. They may not be the prettiest uh, smash burger taco, but they are some of the best. All right, and guys, and boy, does it go quick once you get them smashed down. And what could I say, man? A uh, uh, little fugazi pull, uh, turn them over my, uh, my spatula. I couldn't find my big one in the house. I didn't have any time to look for it. So it was a little fugazi flipping them over. Other than that, man, we got a nice sear. You always think you're putting too many onions down. And then after you, uh, after you make the burger, you always realize at that point that you could have put more down. And I think I definitely could have put more down, but uh, we are pretty good here. We are almost wall to wall on the uh, on the uh, on the bread and also as you can see on the back we are very toasted man that is nice and toasted it isn't toasted where when i bend it it is going to fall apart it's going to have some bend to it it is just nice and toasted so look let me go in these may not be the uh, prettiest there is the back looking good let's fold it over oh, yeah. and go in for that taste test cheers y'all All right, guys, so look, here it is, one to 10. These are a flat out 10. I mean, what could I say, man? These was, uh, these are so freaking good, man. It, 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 it is hard to stop eating them. You just want to continue to eat them. They are that good. So look, that is gonna wrap up this show. I got Molly right here waiting to dive right in. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time I fire up this Halo griddle. So that's it. Until next time, we will see you soon.